to guess where I'm at. Welcome to today's episode of Southern Farmer. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Okay, yeah, I want to track your butt. Back at the lakeside. <laughs> got kind of caught up spraying. We got uh, three tractors, three single pans. It rained us out here two days ago. They ran a little bit yesterday. They rained some last night. Um, but came a long way on it. Um, they've been spraying for two days and it rained them out a half a day maybe. Something like that. Anyway, we ran out of dry dirt because of the rain and the, we've had the levee three quarters of the way built. Um, we're gonna cut up here in the pasture. Try to let y'all see this. We're cutting our dry knoll. Cause that's some of the only dry dirt we can find. We were dipping out of the old pond, but they got rather gummy and wet and slick and just not not good. Alright, that was Jock getting a load. I got a load. We all loaded, headed that way. It's not a far, not a far trip around there where we're headed. Maybe, I don't know, 300 yards, 400 yards total. We're still making good time. It's not as easy as just cutting backside of the pond and hauling it to the levee. Uh, but and we can actually travel faster out here in this pasture. Um, like I said, we had to cut the fence right here. Filled in and little small ditch. And William's up here running uh, 700K. It's more of a finishing dozer than the 850. It's 850J here, 700K here. Um, I'm gonna dump on this other side. It looks a little crowded, about to get congested. Um, but yeah, that, that blade there's got all kind of twist and uh, all types of cylinders for finishing more of a finishing blade than the than the bigger dozer not quite as much horsepower but bags over there i'm gonna say we have another four feet to go up on the levee maybe five or six hard to tell just eyeballing it but uh i don't think anybody's had the laser up in the last day or two so yes yeah, at least five feet i can tell when i get back this far but we're gonna keep hauling, uh, making good progress. Uh, we've had to drain some areas to keep hauling out with a track coat early this morning. And like I said, it just got to where we're, we were not, not doing very good and getting just gumbo clay. It was hard to work with and the dozer was having to come behind the pans almost every time. And uh, yeah, we're about to load again here. We'll walk through here in a little bit and uh, when we stop for lunch, it's like 11.15 now. If it doesn't rain us out, we're calling for rain here in the middle of the day, but loaded. It's near impossible to do that with one hand. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna walk through and if you guys like this type of stuff, uh, the more the dirt moving than the farming. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If it's the first time with us, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. And uh, if you like the other videos, go back and watch them. See what y'all think. It's rough coming across here. Uh, Donald's been having some type of leak on the front. I don't know if it's a radiator they thought the radio was leaking I don't, I don't know what it is i was saying i'm looking at it a while ago i heard them talking on the radio about a leak I i'm not sure we'll check on that too when we stop for lunch okay here's a look at what we've done so far we've created a levee taller than the old one already but not as high as we're gonna go as you can see directly the top kind of top right of your screen 
there's the highest point. We're tying all that in the same level. So the water level or the the length of the lake will run all the way. That's the old levee there. It'll run all the way to kind of that single tree directly in the center right there. Um, and basically where you see dirt and where you see the grass line is where the uh, where the water is going to come to. Made a lot of progress. The the rain in the inside our existing levee is simply uh, what rainwater was caught the last day or so. Um, it's uh, obviously holding water, not not having any leaks so far. It's been some really good soil types to pack and lots of clay and not a whole lot of sand, a lot of other things. Those are the flags that we're, we've got marked for the high spot so we don't lose that. Uh, I'm going to set y'all up and let you kind of see what the dozers and the, the tractors are doing to see the process.